This is RTV6 News at 6, working for you. Thanks for joining us on this holiday edition of the News at 6. I'm Nicole Griffin. A lot of firsts at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today. It's the first time IndyCar and NASCAR share a venue on the same weekend and the first time IMS held a major race with no fans. Our Brad Brown was among the very few that were inside. He has a recap of IndyCar's delayed return to the track. It always feels strange being in this place when it's virtually empty, even more so on a day when one of the biggest races on the IndyCar calendar is happening. But once they threw the green flag, the familiar sounds of racing rolled around the Brickyard once again. And when it was all over, a familiar face in victory circle, although in this race, for the first time. Drivers, start your engines! Twenty-six cars in the field. Will Power starting on pole for the fourth time. He had won the previous three times he led the field to the green flag. Strong start today. Everyone clean into turn one. Pretty quickly, the front six stretched themselves out. Power built a lead of a couple seconds. Graham Rahal started in the fourth position. His team going for a strategy call early, trying to make it to the end with just two pit stops. Rahal found himself in the lead on stop number one, lap 29 of 80. Meanwhile, trouble with pit stops proved to be costly for several teams this afternoon. Afternoon. Spencer Piggott's left front tire changer dropped a lug nut, cost that car several seconds on his first stop. Santino Ferrucci's crew had an issue with the right rear. Santino would come back to finish ninth. First caution of the day, lap 36. Rookie Oliver Askew gets loose coming out of turn 14. Final turn on the course, backs it into the wall. Could not correct that mistake. He was fine, but the first car out would turn out to be the only caution of the race. Just past halfway, another disastrous result for Alexander Rossi. Mechanical problems would end his day early. Similar results to what he had in Texas, so 0 for 2 to start the season. Ray Hall continued to lead, but lap 48, Scott Dixon cruises by on the front stretch. Started to feel like the opening race in Texas when Dixon dominated and won. Still some work to do, though. Final stop of the afternoon for the number 9 team. Dixon's crew working to perfection. He would get it back out on track and would have a six-second lead. The back half of the day was pretty miserable bull for pole winner Will Power. He stalled the engine on his final stop. Crew had to hustle to get him back going. After starting on pole, Power finished the day in 20th. As for Dixon, he would eventually build a lead of 19 plus seconds. No doubt about this one at the end. He rolls to his very first win on the IMS road course. 48th of his IndyCar career. Dixon would then get to be the first to ride the new lift to victory circle at the Speedway. With Saturday's win, he's already looking like the one to chase for the Indy car series points title this season uh, it is really nice to think you know kind of after the race we had last year with with uh, Simon, and I thought you didn't so, care about the numbers yeah 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 this one's nice man I, li I like this it, it, finishing first here is a lot better than last I think it was the last three years I've been second maybe for something so um it's really nice to to be in that situation it's great to uh obviously get another win at Indianapolis even though it's not uh the big one you know we'll, we'll, we'll try for that uh, later as everybody else will be in this field strategies has, has burned me before and it's and it's helped us a lot before we won races because of it so uh, we get that and Dixie was very fast today so would we have won I mean we certainly would have had more of a buffer uh, but he was definitely quick Dixon had finished second in this race in each of the three previous years his first win in the Grand Prix also the first time in his 20-year IndyCar career that he starts with back-to-back -back victories. It'll be a busy stretch coming up as they'll race twice at Road America next weekend, twice at Iowa Speedway the weekend after that. The afternoon continued with the NASCAR Xfinity Series on the road course. Indiana driver Chase Briscoe had the lead, lost it, and got it back, all in the final three laps. He would go on to his fifth win of the Xfinity season. Briscoe and his crew climbed the fence on the front stretch after taking the checkered flag. All right, of course, there's one race left on the calendar for this weekend. The Brickyard 400, the NASCAR Cup Series, goes on Sunday. They're scheduled to throw the green flag for that one right around 4 p.m. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Brad Brown, RTV6 Sports.